Hello, my name is Dennis, and uh, well, I'd like to tell you about the tool that we're developing at the statistical department in Yandex. It's called Yandex Spikes. And, uh, well, in fact, it's aimed at extracting meaningful topics from a set of user web search queries. And, well, in essence, it's uh, yet another text clustering algorithm implemented in the MapReduce paradigm. Uh, well, it's, though, quite simple, efficient, and uh, of a decent quality, so probably it's worth knowing about. Uh, I'm going to tell you about its engine, not about the applications. Uh, well, as I said, the input of the algorithm is a set of user web search queries, and uh, what we want as an output is a set of meaningful clusters consisting of those search queries. Well, this is a, an example of what we want to obtain. The left cluster is about a football match, the middle one is about a computer game, and the right one is about a movie. And my question is, what do they all have in common? Well, if you look closely enough, you'll see that each one of them contains a specific query that lies inside every other query attributed to this cluster. For example, in the, in the left example, it's Parserial. In the middle one, it's FIFA 16. Um, well, we call this query, this specific query, a keyword set. And, uh, for example, there is a set of user web search queries, and we already know a list of those keyword sets, for keyword sets for this set of web search queries. How does the clustering procedure look like in this case? Well, it's pretty straightforward, I'd say. Uh, we just take each query and uh, first we say that each cluster corresponds to a keyword set, like a cluster corresponding to bar serial keyword set, and then we take each query and attribute it to the cluster if the keyword set lies inside this query. We get this. So each, each query containing bar serial inside it will be attributed to the left one. The remaining problem is that we still do not know the list of those keyword sets for a particular corpus of user web search queries. We need to find it, and we do it the following way. We build a graph. Each, graph, uh, each node in this graph corresponds to a word, and each edge denotes how many times the two words have occurred together in the same user web search query. So uh, in this picture, the, the wider the edge is, the stronger is the connection between the two words. And well, what is a keyword set in this case? First, it's a set of vertices, set of words, uh, that has strong internal connections. Like all these words occur together frequently. So uh, all the connections, all the edges have to be strong inside the set of vertices. And second, you cannot add another vertex to this set since, well, we want the maximal keyword set. This is a good example of a keyword set. All the edges are wide, and, well, it's, in fact, a keyword set describing a particular fight, at ultimate fighting championship, it doesn't matter. Uh, this uh, is another good example of a keyword set since, again, all the edges are wide and there is no other vertex that you could add to this set. And this is a bad example since uh, there is a vertex that is not connected to two other vertices. So we want the first two examples to be extracted and the third one, this one, to not be extracted. This is pretty much what we do. We implement a heuristical procedure that extracts all those sets of vertices that we want to obtain, and we call them keyword set candidates. Why candidates? Because there is still one problem remaining that we have to solve before we implement the whole clustering procedure, and it's, it's here, actually. In this case, in this graph, the extracted keyword set candidate, candidate is going to be watch online. It's bad. We don't want to have it in the final pool since it's too general. If we have this keyword set, the cluster ca corresponding to this keyword set is going is to contain all the queries about movies, TV shows, football matches, and as I said, it's too general. We want more specific clusters. So to get rid of this kind of keyword set candidates, we do the following heuristical trick. We compute the amount of times that user has been searching for, th for, the, for these two words, for the words of keyword set exactly, like the amount of times that he typed watch online in his 
user in his web search line. And uh, we compare it to the amount of times that he used the keyword set, the two words watch online, in a certain context. For example, suits watch online. Common sense tells us that the amount of times that he typed just two words watch online is going to be small. Thus, the ratio of exact hits of a keyword set versus uh, context hits versus the amount, of the amount of context hits is going to be small. So we do this. We just filter all those keyword set candidates that have that pass the certain threshold of this ratio. We call this a generality ratio. And uh, well, that's pretty much it. The clustering procedure looks like this. First, we find keyword sets according to a heuristical procedure in the graph. Then we filter them. And the final part is that we take every query that we have in the corpus and, attrib and we attribute the, those queries to keyword sets. That's pretty much it. That's the, the engine, the core idea of the algorithm to find out more about the following procedure, how we deal with, for example, with synonymy, how we apply this, and most importantly, how it is connected to topic modeling, which was announced in the name of the talk. Please proceed to our poster, and for now, that's it. Thanks.